Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys the Nexus Evolution ROM for the Galaxy Nexus on the Verizon Network. Uh, this is a ROM that's been requested by a lot of you guys for quite some time. Uh, it has been really popular for the past couple of weeks, and so I figured I'd go ahead and cover it since I have been running it for the past week. Um, as far as I can tell, this ROM has just been very fast. It has been customized and tweaked. Um, for performance optimizations. Now other than that it does have a ton of customization options. Uh, first of all this thing does include a black and blue theme. So if you go into like the dialer you'll see that that's been blacked out. Contacts and the text messenger have all been blacked out. Um, no other apps that I could find have really been inverted. I uh, like the Gmail's not inverted or anything like that. Some of you guys probably hate the inverted Gmail application. Uh, personally I like it okay with a black theme, uh, but overall this is not 100% blacked out, just a certain few elements are. Um, this also includes some custom wallpapers. So you have like your Nexus Evolution wallpapers there as well. And then we'll jump into the settings. So if we go to settings, and all the way down to about phone, uh, you'll see that we are running Jellybean 4.1.1. And it's on the iMoseon Lean kernel, which means this thing is going to be incredibly fast and uh, it's going to save battery life. So that's that's one great thing about the iMoseon Lean kernel is that you're going to get all kinds of battery life with tons of performance. And uh, you see that we are on the Evolution uh, JRO3L build. And there's several, like I said, there's several um, custom options here in the Evolution settings menu if you go to System. We have about evolution where you can learn about the developers there. And the interface, we can go to general UI. Uh, you can choose to add a custom carrier label, which is what I have there, Droid Modder X. And if we go back to the navigation bar, this is where you can customize your navigation. Now personally, I've gotten so used to the Galaxy S3 that I just kind of set mine up like that. But you can set it up any way you want. You can actually have five navigation buttons, which is really cool. Um, because you can also add custom applications like you could have a Twitter button or a YouTube button um, or you could just set it up with like I have it there a menu a home and a back like on the Galaxy S3 that's just the way that I prefer it you can also change the color of these buttons in this menu here and you can change like the button glow animation you can change the height and the width I actually took and changed the height to make mine a little shorter that way I had more screen real estate and that's one thing that I really like about that option if you go into the lock screen options, you can actually set the hot seats up to 8. The way you do that is just drag over, then you would pick an application. So we could go with, uh, I don't know, we'll just go with Facebook to show you guys how it works. Select OK, and then you would hit the save here. And then you could turn that off, back on. Now you have your Facebook lock as well as your Google Now and your unlocking camera. If we go back, uh, you can actually add a background wallpaper and you can choose uh, to have vibration when unlocking. You can also choose to have battery status on the lock screen and you can have volume wake. If we go to interface, no, that's where we were, ha. If we go to status bar, that's where we can change our toggle setup and our clock so you can actually choose center clock there and you can choose AM PM style and day of the week and clock color uh, signal you can change your your signal bar there battery you can change the icon style I always go with text only but there's several to choose from you can also do a battery bar like the my UI battery bar and choose where you want to show up and how thick it is what color it is several settings for that there notification drawer uh, this is where you can add and remove your widgets. So if you go to widget buttons, you can actually choose the widgets that you like. And those are what will show up in your drop-down widgets there. And if we go into system, you can add sound, uh, different, you know, for your notifications. You can add weather options and also LED options, which is one of my favorite options here. Uh, the one thing that I love about this is that it's totally customizable and you can actually uh, see what you've customized here. So if I wanted to change the color, I could change that color 
And if I wanted it to go very rapidly, I could just go like one second on, two seconds off. And you can see what it'll do. It'll give you a preview there. Now for a lot of you guys, that would be totally annoying. And that's pretty annoying for me too. That's why I had it at 1 and 9, which is really what it comes with. Anyhow, if we go back, uh, let's see here. We have the power menu. This is for like if you press and hold the power button, you can actually add some toggles to the reboot menu. And then, let's see, in tools, this is where we have our performance settings. So you can actually overclock and underclock here. Um, so if we go to processor speed, this is where we can choose our maximum CPU frequency all the way up to 1650 megahertz. Um, I did try that out, and it's pretty unstable at 1650. If you go with 1350 or 1520, you should be okay, though. Um, although, I would not recommend setting a 1520 or 1650 at boot, because then your phone may have trouble booting up. So, just be careful with that. You can also choose a governor. I always just stick with interactive. And there's several other things here that you can choose from. And then, also, this comes with the theme chooser. So this is for like your CM10 and AOKP themes from the Play Store. You can uh, select and apply any of those and it will apply those on the fly and uh, give you a totally new theme. Of course this one comes with the black and blue theme and uh, I really do like the theme that it has. That's why I don't have any other downloaded to install. Okay, And then you have your launcher settings here. This is for the Trey Boucher launcher. Uh, so most of you guys are familiar with this. I'm not really going to run through the launcher options right now. And this also has, uh, let's see, device settings. Uh, this is where you can change like the things about your display here. They do have color hack presets, so you can actually change the color of the screen. Now this doesn't look like a lot there, but that is supposed to save tons of battery life. And you really can't see much of a difference there. But just that little bitty difference is supposed to save battery life because it makes the screen not so harsh. Uh, but anyways, guys, this has been the Nexus Evolution ROM. We'll go ahead and do our install guide. So what you want to do is, of course, you'll need to be rooted, and your bootloader need to be unlocked, and you will need to have a custom recovery installed, preferably twerp. Go ahead and grab the download links in the description. Uh, you will need the ROM itself and the uh, Jelly Bean G apps that come with it. Of course, this is a really simple install. All you have to do here is wipe data, wipe cache, wipe data cache, and install the ROM, and then install the G apps. So as soon as this opens up, we are just going to go directly into wipe, and we'll factor reset, swipe to wipe, cache, swipe to wipe, data cache, swipe to wipe, and then we'll just go back to install and we're looking for the Evolution Nexus 2.0.0 so you'll flash that, so select that swipe to flash, then you'll go back and you're looking for the G apps uh, JRO3C and they have different versions so just choose the version that you want. I have just uh, regular camera features with no Picasa they also have like a camera mod that includes Picasa features uh, so you can get that G app as well if you wanted but I just went with the standard G apps so we'll swipe to flash when that's all finished, we'll go back and reboot the phone. Now, I forgot to show you guys my battery stats, um, but this had been running for about 15, 16 hours, and I still had, you know, about 20%. So the battery actually has been pretty good on this ROM. But anyways, guys, that has been the Nexus Evolution ROM. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you like this video, you can subscribe right here for more videos like this in the future. Be sure to follow me at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx where I'm going to have periodic giveaways and I'll update you guys on my videos and any news articles that I write. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.